Hey, this is Brandon from Event Horizon Services. We are a custom wiring shop specializing in audio, video, and lighting. Our last video was an intro to XLR and quarter inch connectors. So to continue with beginner info, today I would like to talk about wire types. If you're doing audio, video, or lighting, there are a couple main wire types that you'll probably run into. These are microphone cables, instrument, speaker, unbalanced, digital, coax, DMX, cat, and snake. Let's first look at the microphone cable. The title microphone cable does not really do it justice. That is one of the main cables used for audio. It is used for microphone connections and balance line level gear connections, which includes most connections. If you're referring to it technically, it is actually single pair or one pair shielded. This means it consists of two wires in the form of a twisted pair with an overall shield. It can carry a balanced signal, which is best for rejecting noise. The signal is carried on the pair of wires and the shield is used to help insulate the pair from noise. You will commonly find microphone type cable terminated with XLR connectors and TRS connectors. Less commonly, you will find it terminated with Euro connectors, TRS 8th inch connectors, and TA3 mini XLR connectors. It can also be used to carry a stereo signal with one wire being the left and the other wire being the right and the shield being the common. Now let's look at instrument cables. Again, the title instrument cable does not do it justice. It is used for instruments, instrument interfaces, unbalanced gear connections, and more. It is technically a coaxial cable with a center conductor that is jacketed and then surrounded by a conductive PVC layer and then the shield. The center conductor carries a signal and the shield is a signal ground. The conductive PVC layer is designed to reduce noise in high impedance applications like many guitars. You commonly find this cable terminated with TS quarter inch connections and RCA connections. On to speaker cables. Speaker cables are actually used for what their name indicates, speakers. They're designed to carry a higher voltage, higher current signal. Most speaker cables are two conductor cables that connect the plus and minus of the speaker to the amp. It is also not uncommon to find four, six, and eight conductor cables for bi-amp systems and multi-cabinet systems. Regular speaker cables do not have a shield because the voltage used in this application are much higher than any possible noise picked up and the level of signal to noise is so great it does not warrant a shield. Speaker cables commonly come in two forms, zip cord, also called figure eight, where the two jacketed wires are bonded together with the plastic jacketing an overall jacket where two or more conductors are enclosed in a jacket or an overall jacket to make a mostly round cable. You'll commonly find speaker cables terminated with TS quarter inch connectors, banana connectors, speak on connectors, bare ends, and more. Finally, let's look at unbalanced cables. Unbalanced cable and instrument cable have a lot in common. Both are coaxial cables with a center conductor and a shield, but the unbalanced cable does not have the extra conductive PVC layer. Without the conductive PVC layer, it is not recommended for high impedance applications, but it is still perfect for all other unbalanced applications, like gear connections, stereo connections, unbalanced mic connections, and more. The center conductor carries a signal, and the shield is a signal ground. You'll commonly find this cable terminated with TS quarter inch connectors and RCA connectors. This concludes part one. Next time we'll look at digital,
coax, DMX, CAT, and snake cables. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments, please leave them below or email us. Remember to like and share and look for upcoming videos. Thanks.